What's Halloween without fake blood? I know, a little gory. Uh, you could go to the store and buy a bottle of fake blood, but pff, with 20 bucks. Why do that? When well, you can go and just collect these wonderful supplies and, uh, and try your own hand at making the perfect batch of fake blood that'll fit your, uh, your application this Halloween. Well, the first recipe is probably the classic fake blood recipe, and that's the one that involves corn syrup. So Cairo syrup, or this light corn syrup, it takes about a cup, so it starts with about a cup, and to that we need to add a little bit of water to dilute it, because we want it to, uh, to be a little bit runny. And while any of these recipes are just a good starting place, you just kind of have to tweak it. So there's uh, the, the Cairo syrup, and now we're gonna add some food coloring. So we're gonna do some red food coloring, because of course it's blood, but then we're gonna have to tweak that. So a couple tablespoons, believe it or not, of the red food coloring and this is concentrate that I have here just so that it doesn't take forever to kind of come out and so take a look at this here's what it looks like like this and now you can see that this is just a little too red so to that we're gonna have to add uh, probably another color to darken it just a little bit and uh, how about just a little bit of blue now you just don't want to overdo it we, we're gonna tweak it with our color so just a little bit inside because we don't want purple necessarily but we definitely don't want that um, light red that kind of looks like syrup so we're starting to get uh, a little bit better and so this is the classic recipe for fake blood unfortunately it looks a little too thin and uh, we're gonna have to do a little tweaking but at least you see the classic recipe Well, this is the chocolate fake blood recipe, and here's what you're gonna to need to start, is a half cup of warm water. So, starts with this, and now the thickening agent for many of these is the corn syrup. And so, again, use your corn syrup, and you're gonna need four tablespoons of the corn syrup. These are all just starting points. And now, you're gonna to need to have a tablespoon of uh, the cocoa. We're gonna use this to uh, kind of measure out our tablespoon of, uh, of chocolate. So that kind of goes in here like this, mix it around. So this is going to give us the base. It's not going to be as transparent. So, you know, the one that was just with the Cairo syrup was really transparent. This will give us a little bit more of a, of a base there. And now all of a sudden um, we're getting the consistency that we want. We just don't have the color. And so that's where the red food coloring comes in. So here's our food coloring. About a teaspoon of the red food coloring. But just keep on mixing it up and see what you like. All right, so this gives us a little mix here, and now we start to take a look at the consistency. And uh, it looks pretty dark to me, so I don't know uh, blood that looks this dark, uh, but this is, the, this is the chocolate recipe. Again, all this is completely edible, so if you have to have something that's gonna be on your skin or something around your mouth, you'll pick one of these. And the true test is the, the cloth test. So a small amount on the cloth, just to kind of see what this looks like. So let's take a look at what this is on the cloth. Here it is, and there's our blood splattering on the cloth. I think we can still do better. Well, up to this point, it's been a little bit dark, and so this recipe uses corn starch, and it's gonna lighten it up just a little bit, so take a look at this. You're gonna start with 2 thirds of a cup of corn syrup. That's gonna give us the thickness that we want. And to that, you're gonna add a third of a cup of warm water just to dilute it so it's not so, um, so thick and uh, give that a mix. Spend some time mixing it here before you mix in all the other ingredients. It'll just make things a lot easier. And if you like the recipe, then you can do the whole thing in the blender and, and make it easier that way. All right, so to this mixture right here, five tablespoons of cornstarch. So just regular cornstarch that you would make gravy. As you know, playing with cornstarch, it disappears pretty quickly. So it's like a real cooking show. You gotta whisk the whole thing up. So again, here's our base. And to all of this, you're gonna add one tablespoon of the cocoa powder. All right, so this is gonna give us that darkness that we want. At this point here, it kind of looks just like chocolate syrup, but it's well incorporated in. So now this is where you start adding a small amount of the coloring. You don't wanna to do too much, but just a small amount of the coloring. So let's take some of the red and take a look at what this looks like. All right, so this is looking about as red as I can get it uh, before it uh, starts taking on kind of a weird quality. And here, take a look at this. 
Again, if we wanted to lighten it up just a little bit, but uh, consistency wise, that is your chocolate fake blood. All right, so up to this point, we've learned a whole bunch of things. If you wanna make it thick, uh, that corn syrup is gonna be perfect. If you need to have that kind of that uh, darker texture to it, a little of Hershey syrup is fine, or some of the cocoa is fine. The food coloring is funny because it makes it a little too red. Um, and if we need to add a little white consistency to it, or so it's not completely see-through, then the corn syrup is fine. So let's let's make blender blood. Let's try to use everything that we have so far. And walking through the aisles of the, of the grocery store, found some of this all-purpose syrup. This is a uh, like a tropical fruit punch. So let's throw it all in the blender and see if we can make a, a pretty good batch of blood. Let's start with some of the the uh, fruit punch. Now by itself, um, it doesn't look very blood-like. So to that, I think we're gonna need to make it a little bit thicker. And so that's where some of the corn syrup comes in. Now we're not really gonna play a recipe. We're just gonna experiment a little bit. So a little kitchen chemistry and see how dark uh, or how light we need to make it, how thick we need to make it. So there's our Kiro syrup. So let's darken it with uh, some of the Hershey syrup. Now it's getting a little bit darker, but still probably a little too watery. It might be a little clear, so uh, let's try this. Let's add a couple uh, tablespoons of cornstarch. We'll give that a try. Take a look at this. It's still a little bit light. So let's do a tablespoon or so of that uh, cocoa and see if we can mix that in and get it just dark enough that it really starts to look like blood. I think this is looking good. All right, so this, I think, is our blender blood. This is looking pretty good. As long as you know what each of the ingredients does, you can make it a little bit less transparent with the, the cornstarch. Uh, give it some depth uh, with the, uh, the Hershey syrup and the cocoa. Um, and just that base color there with like a fruit punch or something. So this is my vote for the most realistic looking blood. It's blender blood and uh, completely edible. This is reminding me of some Saturday Night Live bit somewhere. This is pretty darn good looking fake blood. All right, have fun making your own fake blood and uh, somebody's bound to get sick. Anybody got a Band-Aid?